are all packed and ready to go. There are the three suitcases that I was saying we were packing um, earlier in the video. We're about a half hour or so from getting a taxi to the airport. We're gonna get there a few hours early because I mean, that's what's recommended. We didn't have anything else to do. We're the early type. Yeah, our flight scheduled to land at seven. And because we're gonna be in Ohio, so hours away from my family, I already plan on really trying to squeeze in a trip to Target and like if we're hungry, probably Chipotle. So that's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. car we're just waiting for i don't know something. The, the guy to run ever. oh it's a toyota oh, highlander it is cool it seems okay target there and look who's right beside target chipotle <laughs> guys it is nearly one o'clock in the morning yeah. huh? one o'clock in the morning ireland time but it's seven here but we're gonna live our best life i'm going to target i do need toothpaste and chapstick it is good desperately to, and it is and good not water. to go to bed straight away because we need our clocks to be on michigan to our yeah discount. i'm looking really rough you guys i'm checking with, with my video this is our little target haul our first target trip it was brief um cliff bars six pack okay and then just a couple waters because um, cheetos and gary got flaming hot cheetos we aren't even getting like plastic bags at a store and then i just got chapstick um toothpaste toothbrush makeup sponge this is the most this is the thing i'm most excited about it's a face moisturizer naturi na naturium naturium and face wash so you got, i felt like it was more exciting it was more it was exciting to me because i really wanted to get this moisturizer i'm so excited to try this that's all we're tired good morning everyone it's uh thursday morning for us and it's our second day in america second day in america first full day we all woke up like gary woke up at 3 a.m i woke up <clears throat> at 4 and then we were all up definitely by 6 so yeah we we're like let's just go and get an early start to the day that's always good anyways um because we have a two hour and 45 minute drive ahead of us so i did tell my dad that we'd get there at one and he's working i think today so i we, we could always like make some stop or shopping stops as well if we're like too early and i don't know they're not ready for us but it's probably gonna be fine either way the girls got squishmallows from yes. target yesterday we got flame and hot cheetos <laughs> i'm gonna get the white cheddar cheetos i'll insert on the screen here yeah i'm feeling in a vloggy mood so I, I wasn't sure if i was gonna make a video of this trip and who knows how it'll continue but um yeah that's it for now we're gonna leave um get some breakfast gary wants to get brugger's bagels no i want egg bites now oh he wants egg bites yeah okay um that's all see you guys in the next clip check-in i just left dsw I really, I really wanted to get some heels but i definitely wanted to get some sneakers too i got these adidas um it's gonna be not this but the next cow. we're gonna yep molly got a cow kiva got a, a squish pillow um now we're stopping to get some flowers and then we're going to beds. I will edit out Gary's burp. That was just there. Um, Gary and I are going to Chipotle again just because we want to do um, a somewhat fast food style, not like a sit down restaurant. Um, hold on. I have to show you guys what's over there. Can you see it? Shake Shack. Hold on. I could go for that Shake Shack right now, but Gary ma mainly tries to be gluten free. He it's gotta cheat a little bit like on this vacation because like well, for today. example we got yeah jersey mike's earlier that was his favorite sandwich place so that was his kind of yeah cheat for the day he's not like uh completely intolerant like celiac he just does it to try to help with certain digestive and like headache and stuff anyways we just got done with the storage 
unit. Um, we downsized to one that was slightly smaller and are saving a considerable amount of money because there was so much in there that we could just get rid of basically. So mainly everything was keepsakes that we want to save and then yeah like a couple of other things um i'm gonna once we get home and i can better use the internet i'm going to message some of my friends about like we have a tv stand we have a pretty nice christmas tree like a nice seven foot pre-lit christmas tree that we had just only had for a couple years from target a lot of christmas decorations that are pretty nice um a TV? couple of kids toys a like 60 inch tv at least 65 so Oh, we want to just give those away to like friends and family. So that's all we have to do. That's in our old storage unit. And then we put the stuff we're keeping in the new one. We actually could have even went a little bit smaller, but we really didn't know. So anyways, I'm going to message people. And then today's Thursday, maybe on Sunday, whoever might want to take the stuff can come and take it. I mean, we just want to give it away. That's it. We're going to go eat. Then we're going to go home, chill out for the night. Tomorrow, my grandma and at least one of her sisters are coming over and my cousins um katie and donnie so yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing everyone i kind of want to go to target in the morning because our first target trip wasn't the greatest i'll put a picture oh no i mean we were just so tired so i, I just got a couple of things i'll put um a picture on right now of the shoes i got it's getting so dark i got these shoes today at dsw but i want to find a pair of like heels kind of going out heels or heel boot um, so I might check Target. Say hi. Hey. Hey everyone. We're just checking in. It's a Friday evening and I've really come down with a cold. Just feel very congest congested and a little bit of a headache and yes, yeah, so stuffy. Um, I want to show you guys a couple things. I won't take them out of the bag, but I got natural Cheetos, white cheddar. Oh, and it's Hershey. And a very cute Squishmallow. You guys, I don't even want to talk about our Squishmallow addiction. Um, it's... Yeah, I have like 25. <laughs> even yeah. more. Um, I got some Christmas jammies at Target. Just like button up, button down. And um, this shirt. <laughs> Squishmallow collection. That is so cute. A frog. And they have clothes on them as well. That's adorable. And then... I'm so excited. I think I mentioned that I knew I was getting Uggs. The Ultra Minis. I kind of wanted these for a while. Gary got some new shoes at Target. He's kind of a Target hater for like clothes and shoes for himself. Just because he never really could find much he liked. But... And I don't know if I showed. But I got. Oh my gosh, there's baby me. Um, I got these shoes. It's early enough, but I'm just watching YouTube in bed. Yeah, it was so nice to see my family today. It was so nice. It was just such a nice afternoon. Obviously, it was long overdue. And then we had um like Lebanese food for dinner. Like so, like chicken kebabs and rice with the delicious garlic sauce. I actually had like a chicken shawarma. Shawarma. <laughs> you know, like the chicken, the pickles, and the garlic sauce. Oh my god, it was almost a little too garlicky. Even though I love too garlicky but sometimes like i have to be careful anyways i'm having a great time i hope i feel a little better tomorrow tomorrow i'm going out for dinner and i really well and i see my grandpa and kim anyways oh, i'll figure it out maybe i'll run out and get like an actual cold medicine because because yeah i don't want to not feel good tomorrow molly's looking at me maybe she wants to talk to me more so i'm gonna get going and um i'll see you guys later guys this is our view i don't know if i've said yet in the vlog but we are um staying in a hotel in detroit for the night for our night out because first of all i'm so sniffly still <laughs> i'm i'm feeling like relatively rough but i have to power through because yes, we do. Uh, he especially my bestie lauren i'm seeing her tonight anyone else we don't, I don't we don't even know officially who else is coming to meet us but we'd be happy just to get out ourselves and definitely lauren um, I'm really excited to see, of course. We were looking yesterday and at the time Gary checked the Uber prices like from my dad to, you know, downtown. Um, it was like $60 
so it would for sure probably be at least 120. Maybe even so, more. and maybe more, obviously, because you know Saturday it's it's night. going by where when you're checking. I gotta sneeze. Anyways, so we decided to get a hotel room, which it just makes it that bit easier as well, too. And then we're not getting in my dad's house and I don't know causing a commotion. Uh, you know, I can get, pull myself together, and my dad doesn't have to see the worst of my hangover. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to take it easy because I don't feel good. But I'm gonna go shower, um, try to get my nose under control. You can't really see too. Much much on here and I'll try to get some clips a little montage footage of our night I'm like I'm really excited but I really am like I took Dayquil and it didn't um help at all and then I took like well the generic version of Sudafed and that hasn't helped either and I am just like the sniffliest person in the world that's it um I'll, I'll take you guys with us okay guys I'm sniffly but ready to go I'm wearing the same exact thing I always wear and yeah, we're, I'm stocked with tissues and yeah, we are about to leave. guys i think it's been a couple of days at least since i checked in maybe the last time i checked in was the day we were going out in detroit so detroit. we had a, a nice time um i think because like i was sick and i had to cold medicine um she a few drunk. a few drinks hit me harder than they normally would so we didn't really have like a late night because i just remember kind of wanting to go back and go to bed so anyways but it was a, it was a nice time and then the next day my dad and tina took the girls to mrs doubt fire which is down in detroit and for pizza and gelato and stuff so gary and i went to uh, the big mall which i'll have some clips maybe i'll put them here now or you might have already seen them um and i got a pair of shoes and a pair of jeans from abercrombie that like i kind of wanted for a long time Hi, I remember ice my oh. bag. gary hurt his foot really bad yesterday i just got the 90s relaxed high-rise jean um kind of this light wash. Um, I got a concealer at Sephora. I'm gonna close the door because I'm shy that I'm vlogging. I'm about to have a shower um, and get into my Target Christmas pajamas, which I actually, I was just coming on to show you the briefest Target haul. I got them in another pair because they are so comfortable. And what I've been noticing, like to get affordable pajamas at like Pennies and Dunn's in Ireland, I feel like the quality has like gotten like so bad that like, I don't know, I just don't gravitate towards buying them. So um, these were a pretty good price. I got the first pair on sale, this pair wasn't, but anyways, still not too bad. Got this like cropped tank thing to go under. I really like this sweater, just because it dips kind of low. Um, This brown sweater, it's got the pockets there. I got it in a size medium. I kind of went up a size because I wanted it to be oversized and really cozy. What's this? Oh yeah. Oh, um, then just a black long sleeve, kind of a scoop neck, you know, uh, fitted kind of t-shirt. And this fitted t-shirt, the sweater and the two um, shirts were 30% off. So were these socks. And then I got this. I was randomly, when I was in Ireland, I was like, I browsed Target 
a little bit. Well, especially coming up to our trip. I still have my Target app, which is for like curiosity sometimes. But anyways, this is like 23 in Ireland and it was 15 here in Target. It's the, um, it's like an eyelash curler, Tweezerman. And I've always heard like it's worth the splurge to grab one of these, even though you can get them like $2. I already opened it because this region is a mess from my cold, but I just got an Aquaphor, um, you know, lip product. I got... Halo Glow Beauty Wand by e.l.f. It's like a contour stick, so kind of for like bronzer, like um, I wanted to try that because any kind of drugstore makeup I feel like is at least like a dollar or two cheaper, which is not nothing, anything crazy, but it kind of adds up. So I figured I'd pick up some e.l.f. things that I wanted to try while I'm here. I bought this moisturizer the other day. It's, I don't know if I say it right, Naturium Multipeptide Moisturizer, Multipeptide Blend, plus Ethylated Vitamin C and Panthenol. Um, yeah, I knew I wanted to try this for a while. You can get it in Ireland, but it's cheaper to get here. Not by anything crazy, but worth picking up a couple. So yeah, this is my second bottle just to have this back up. And then from the same brand, I got this Vitamin C Super Serum Plus Hydrates, Bright and Smooth Firms. It has Vitamin C, Retinol, Hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicyl salicylic acid. I'll just show you two. But I got four boxes, the spirals. I think the people who really enjoy mac and cheese know that the spirals are the best. So, yeah. I got a couple, like a makeup, makeup brush and a spoolie. We got the e.l.f. Brow Lift. It's like a brow gel. I felt like I heard pretty good things from like influencers online, especially in the beauty space. Last but not least, I got just a pair of um, like flared leggings, just a cottony pair of flared leggings. That's it for my Target haul. Yeah, I got a couple basic t-shirts, some jammies, this. First of all, um, we're, we probably seem like extreme shopaholics. And to be honest, this trip, we really could be classified as such. Not normally like this, but it's like, don't get me wrong, like Ireland has options and they have like affordable places, but like there's nothing like the shopping in America, which isn't always a good thing because like it's such a consumption driven culture. Yeah, I don't mean to be, uh, I don't know, promoting like coming to America and buy, 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 but you can get things for cheaper and better sales and stuff. So, and we were a little spoiled and got a little Christmas money from some of our family. So that's part of the reason we were able to splurge as well. I got these New Balances. I kind of had my eye on these for a while. They're like <laughs> the real dad looking ones that are trending in style. So I kind of been wearing those for a while. Gary got a good bit of work shoes and like he got a good bit of stuff at Marshalls. Um, I'm not showing everything to be like, look at all the stuff we got. But I don't know, I guess just in case anyone was curious. And just to be honest, it, we were kind of looking forward to like certain shopping aspects. I'm gonna kind of get some, some deals over here and stuff. And maybe some things that like are harder to get in Ireland. <laughs> That's enough talking. I'm gonna have a quick shower, just, just a rinse. Just kind of makes me feel calm. It's like really, I have really bad anxiety. Oh, you guys. I didn't tell you how things went with my mom. I saw my mom yesterday. Um, I won't get into it too much, but overall it went good. Overall it went good. Um, it, she, she was like very apprehensive to wanting to see me cause she just felt so hurt. But I was like, I'm not just dropping the kids off. And I really wanted her to see the kids and she wanted to see the kids of course. So we went over and things were pretty good. I mean, there was like, you know, maybe a little bit of awkwardness, but I mean, just only to be expected having it been so long and her being upset. And there were some tears and she, you know, very respectfully got to say her feelings in person to me a little bit with being respectful because the kids were there. So it honestly, it was hard because it was emotional. We didn't get to fully talk things out, which I knew we wouldn't because of the kids being there, but it went good overall. I think it was a step and a solid step in a better direction. So that's really good because I share a little bit on my channel, but um, I don't like to share too much, but things have been just been so hard. It, it, this move was like really hard on the relationship with my mom and I. If you are not new, you know that. I gotta stop talking. It's been so long. It was funny because when I woke up and while sleeping like I woke up in the middle of the night and had really bad anxiety and then really bad anxiety when um really bad like really physically weird symptoms i haven't been eating very well either because i don't know how to explain it it's like my belly will feel empty but like i don't have a whole strong i don't have that strong of an appetite 
did feel a little relief after getting that over with with my mom so maybe it was just like my dad even said like a anxiety hangover this morning so that's that i'm gonna um tidy up some of the stuff have a shower have dinner maybe we'll play a little games as a family with my dad and tina and gary and the kids that's enough of me talking This vlog might be a good bit of just me sitting in our room here and checking in. But yeah, I'm checking in. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thursday. It's our last full day here. So I, I knew it would go by fast. But yes, it certainly went by really fast. But it's been a really good trip. I've definitely been going through it. Um, A little bit of jet lag, which maybe I jinxed myself because I was like, I bet it won't be too bad going to America because we gain five hours and stuff. And I but like, knock on wood was getting decent enough sleep. But then I got a cold and I'm like wondering, is this gonna turn into a sinus infection? Cause it's like what happened to me last cold and flu season, but I'll just go to the doctors if I need to when I get back to Ireland. But um, obviously, yeah, that's had me feeling not the greatest. And then I've just been very emotionally drained. Even um, like the situation with my mom was tough and seeing her for the first time and stuff. But like even every everybody else who our relationships, like I wasn't, my relationships weren't like strained with anybody else, but we left America in an abrupt manner and it had been two years. And so, yeah, and, and I'm really sensitive and emotional. So um, it was really good seeing everyone. And I felt like I thoroughly enjoyed like thoroughly enjoyed all my time with everybody. I guess I was just been left feeling a tiny bit drained. This is my bag of beauty goodies. Not many people probably care too much. So, oh, actually I'll just put on the screen here, just an overview. I took a little video yesterday when I got home. I kind of splurged at Sephora. I didn't get that crazy. Sephora, Sephora's crazy. Yeah, just checking in. Oh, yesterday evening, I went to my mom's house with just the girls and I for a couple hours and it was so good. And I'm like so proud of my mom because I, I know it was hard for her to push past the hurt that she was still holding and just have um, just a normal kind of like ha happy visit with myself and the girls. Um, but like, yeah, I know it was helpful that she did it for the girls, but you know, if it was just her and I, she probably would have wanted to get more things off her chest and understandably so. I just, I just had a really nice time with her. Um, both times I saw her and then we went actually my best friend Megan who I've talked about on my channel before and she's visited us in Ireland um we grew up down the street from each other so her parents still live you know a few homes several houses down from my mom so I went over there and I'm really close with her family so Megan and her sister and then our friend Jose was able to come which I've known Jose for a long time and yeah we spent a couple two and a half hours with her family we would have stayed longer but it was like 6 30 when we got there and we didn't want to like get home too late to my dad's house actually and wake them up because they're kind of early bed goers so we didn't want to stay too late but I could have I could have stayed for easily like another couple hours but it was so nice to see them I just love everyone so much I just love my family and friends so much and so yeah but it makes it hard. I'm gonna be sad and emotional leaving tomorrow. But yeah, that's the name of the game with this kind of stuff. It's just how it goes. Life is not like, um, there's no one perfect situation or way to live or black and white or all or nothing thinking. It's just, yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm saying, but. <laughs> I'm excited I have some books. They're over here. I've got some books. I mean, some I finished. Um, This, oh, it was a photo album. Oh, this is when I wanted the new Jim Crow. Um, yeah, mass incarceration in America. Anyways, I finished this one. Why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria by Beverly Tatum. This one was so good. So is this one, Do Better by Rachel Ricketts. I read half of this, The Body Keeps the Score. This is really popular in the like psychology genre, book genre world. That's how much I had read. So I guess a little less than half. Looks backwards to you guys, but yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I might just have to reread that too because it's been a couple years, but I'm happy to have this. I mean, like I could have repurchased these books, but there's a lot of good books out there and I figured hopefully one day I'd get these. It was in our storage unit. I'm just gonna wrap it up with saying this trip has been really good. That's all you guys. I have to stop talking. I'm gonna go downstairs or spend some time with the family. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be about the end of the vlog. Maybe I'll come on for an official outro. So I'll leave it here. But yeah, 